Okay, guys, um, I want to talk to you um, about the Michelle movie that's in the air October 15th. Now, the reason why I'm talking about this is because um, if you don't know, Dr. Dre has um, filed or has threatened a suit against uh, Sony if they air the movie. Now, I don't know why they picking now to do it. They've been knowing that, you know, Lifetime was planning on airing the movie for, you know, months now. I don't know why now. You know, I don't know. Maybe it's a, you know, machine to give the movie momentum. Who knows? Nowadays, everything is strategic. But at any rate, um, when the movie Straight Outta Compton came out, um, DJ Vlad had interviewed several people that were affiliated with the Dr. Dre and Suge Knight brand. And they all pretty much had the same bottom line that Michelle A was the reason um, as to why the relationship between Dr. Dre and Suge Knight crumbled. Okay, so um, the first uh, video I'm going to talk about is because I'm going to put all the links below so you can see exactly what I'm saying. But the first video I'm going to talk about was Michelle, her, her way of thinking herself in her mind. She was like, okay, I'm dating Dre. He's cheating all over me. He beat me in the face and, um, he's not helping me with the kids. He's doing whatever it is he want to do. So what I did was I called Shug. And Suge was like, okay, well, i look out for you. And um, basically, all Suge was doing was just lining her up so he can put her on board with his team. I don't, you know, he, that, that, I don't get that. I don't get that. And to me, that, that move right there was just plain vindictive, you know. From what I understand with man code, no matter how bad your homeboy is, you know, you know, being trifling to his girl, you just don't touch her. But in Michelle A's mind, she's saying, okay, well, Suge, you're married right now, so um, you helping me out. I shouldn't be taking these gifts. Suge Knight is like, okay, well, um, don't worry about taking the gifts because these gifts are from me and my wife. Which I'm saying to myself, Michelle, come on now, girl. You know what this is. This is the old okie doke. You know exactly what's going on. So, um, you know, to get specifics, more details about it. Hold on, guys. My bad. I had to sneeze. Okay. To get more um, details about it, you know, please look at the video in the description bar. But um, she also was saying that, uh, well, DJ Vlad asked... Well, okay, um, when did you end up having your baby with Suge Knight? She was like, oh, this was way after, way after, after he got out of jail. Now, leave it to the other guys, Danny Boy, the crooner of um, Death Row Records. Was it Death Row? I forget which one. Well, Death Row Records, the crooner of the record label. He said that basically she was creeping with Suge Knight when she was with Dre, her frame of mind is what does it matter? Dre, you know, was doing him. Why does it matter? Like I said, man code. I don't know why. I I just, I, I for me, for the life of it, I don't understand why you bothered who she messing with. You over there with, with Judy doing whatever it is you want to do over there with Judy. Why is you so worried for what is the problem? But, you know, man code and, you know, because, you know, I just be so tough on myself. I just be like, forget about it. Don't even do that. And it kind of see if y'all, you know, listen to the videos, you'll see she'll kind of set her up. You know, she was in a vulnerable place and he kind of set her up. Now, also with uh, Danny Boy, Danny Boy was like, oh, don't be fooled by that voice. She was in hoe and she was in she was a hoe and she was a devil. He was saying he couldn't even get in contact with Suge because he had to go through her to get paid from Suge. And she intervened and made it really, really hard for him. 
So I'm saying to myself, oh, you know, one thing I can't stand is, is a snake. But worse than a snake is a snake that has flowers and rainbows and cotton balls around it so that you can't see it's a snake. So I'm already getting the, the I'm, you know, from her interview, from the interview that Danny Boy did, I'm like, oh, yeah, come on, come on, come on. So then we're going to go to the interview with Daz and Daz just threw it out there. He was like, look, you know, all I know is I seen it where she in the studio and she rubbing all over Tupac. We know she messing with, she didn't, you know, mess with Dr. Dre. She didn't smash the homie. Now she rubbing all over Tupac's head and his chest. Y'all, sometimes people tell me that I am too tough on myself in regards to you know, my relationship, but that is an absolute no-no. You do not touch another man, be kicking and cuckooing and smiling in another man's face while you are in a relationship with a man. You do not do that. That is a, let me say that, that to me is just plain disrespectful to the man that you are with. It symbolizes that the man that you're with is not your king. And he's just old sucker and you don't respect him enough. So what you're going to do is you're going to rub on the help. Basically, that's what she did. So I want you guys to look at it. All the receipts is in the um, box below. Tell me what you guys think. But I'm not saying that she was not abused because I don't know. I wasn't there. Um, None of us were uh, there. I, you know, she said a couple of things, but. You know, I'm I'm not touching on the domestic violence part. I'm just touching on the part where, okay, you, you're playing a victim. You act like you didn't know that this man was married or you act like you were so innocent when Suge Knight was married and that y'all wasn't creeping and everything. But these guys are saying totally different. You acting like you wasn't around here flirting. And these guys, all of them have the same denominator. That lady was the demise of the relationship between Dr. Dre and Suge Knight. And we know Dre is, well, we don't know him, but according to what people have said, Dre is not built like that to be fighting with a Suge Knight or to be going back and forth with a Suge Knight. So what does he do? He just break out. So tell me what you think, guys. You know, I'm looking forward to seeing the movie on the 15th, but... You know, I'm already really not feeling Michelle A about, you know, how how she's going to present these men in the movie. You know, it kind of reminds me of um, What's Love Got to Do With It, how um, Tina Turner presented Ike Turner to be this, you know, awful guy. And then the truth of the matter is, is that Ike Turner was, he was a, he was a, you know, abuser, an addict and you know, uh, a womanizer and, you know, a cheater. But they didn't depict depict in the movie that in actuality that Tina Turner was doing drugs with him. They were doing threesomes together. Like she painted herself to be this innocent victim. And I'm kind of like getting sick of this, you know, sick of, you know, a woman, you know, putting all the blame on the man that this is the reason why these things, you know, oh, poor is me. You know, I'm just kind of over it. So I really hope that this movie isn't going to be like that. I hope whatever flaws she did, if she had hoish ways, I hope she say it. I hope she's honest in this movie about who she was. You wanted Dre to be honest about who he was. And if he was beating you in the head, you wanted him to do it. So you should do it. Anyway, guys, tell me what you think. Deuce.